Daniel with Victory Fitness and back by popular demand, we have a special celebrity fitness star with us today, Charlie Bear, the best dog in the world, my little angel puppy bear. So he's going to help us work out today and um, we don't need any equipment today except for a jump rope and we don't even really need a jump rope. I'm not even going to use a jump rope because I am indoors and um, I put a treat in this toy. I want to see if he finds it. He's smelling for it. He smells it. There he goes. Um, I've got a low ceiling in here so I can't do jump roping with a jump rope so I'm just going to pretend I have a jump rope. So if you got a high ceiling, use a jump rope. If you don't, we're going to just pretend and we're going to get started right now. Are you guys ready? 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're going to do that for 8 rounds. And start. I don't got to jump rope in my hands. I'm just going to pretend like I do. The cool thing about pretending you have a jump rope is I can pretend that I'm really good at jump rope. Watch this. Doesn't make a difference what we do with our feet. We're just we're just moving and warming up. I can't do too many tricks with a real jump rope, so this is my chance to fantasize and pretend that I'm really good. I'm gonna go double under. Woo! Look at that. jump rope when there's no jump rope involved. That's nice. And go. Did you eat your treat, buddy? All gone. Spin and jump rope. Warms us up just the same with or without that jump rope. Unless you're using a super heavy weighted jump rope, then that's more effective. It's hard. We're just warming up. We got a couple of tough exercises today. Not too many. But a couple. If you guys aren't doing this with me, I don't, I don't know if I'd be doing these ones on my own. I was training a group today, and one of these exercises are. Uh, all right, next exercise coming up, single leg mountain climbers. We did them in our group. I didn't do them, because I knew I was doing them later tonight. After they did them, I didn't want to double down on that faux show. But I promised them, I said, hey, I'm in this with you guys. I'm doing this later tonight, too. So I got to stick to my word. I have a little bit of a headache every time I land it. It makes it hurt a little bit more. Maybe if I drink some water, it'll go away. We have one more set left. The good news is that my next exercise I've been doing is going to hurt my leg so bad that I make my muscle burn so bad in my leg. I won't notice my headache. So that's cool. All right, that's it. Okay. So, I already 
principle of the beans is set on our first exercise is it's a single leg mountain climber. A uh, regular mountain climber is this. Okay, we're just going to keep our feet one foot planted, and the other one's just going to go in and out, okay? So we're going to get right into it. The way we start, feet hip distance apart. Put your hands just in front of your toes and on the ground, and then we're going to just move our right foot back and forth. We're going to do that four sets in a, in a row, and then we're going to switch. We're going to do four sets on the other side. Don't mess that up, because if you mess that up, that's, we're, we're blowing the exercise. Because the first one or two sets of this isn't very challenging. It's the third and fourth one that are challenging if we, we stay on one side for four sets, okay? So right leg for four sets. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Not looking forward to it. I'm just going to jump into it in three, two, go. One, two. You guys might actually see me cry. Definitely, you'll see me screaming in pain. Three seconds left. And done. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Just three sets left. We can do it, right? In three, get ready. Two, set, and go. One, two, three. sets left. We got this. Plant that right foot, get in position. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just one more left after this. And three, two, done. Okay, here we go. Last set, coming up. In five, four, get in position. Ready, set, go. Last one. One, two, three, four. 
four, five. Ten seconds left. Woohoo! Spicy. That's like habanero spicy. Three, two, done. Woo! That's like ghost pepper spicy. Okay. Stretch out those quads. I'm gonna set my timer. And time our little break. We earned a break. We definitely get one. And uh, where is my workout towel? I'll use I'll use this as a workout towel. All right. So. What we have next are jumping split squats, and those are gonna be challenging. So, get a sip of water. I'm gonna go back down the hall and get a towel. I'm back. Ta da! That's been a minute. I'm gonna give us another 30 seconds. Because this next one is, is gonna be our hardest one. So the way you do a jumping split squat is first you take your dog and put him out of the way so he doesn't get trotted apart. You're gonna come down deep with good split squat form, so your knee's not coming over your toe. Okay, and you want your toes pointed forward on your back foot and your front foot. Come down deep, jump and switch, and come back down. Okay, if that's too hard for you, if you're having a knee problem or uh, you just don't have the stamina, you can definitely take a break on one of the sets or a couple of the sets, just step back, Come down, step up, and we'll just do reverse lunges, okay? Oh, our break is over. Let's get going. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Come down deep and go. One, two, three, four. Don't let your knee hit the ground. Mine just slightly tapped it. Although you want to go deep. Don't just stay up here. Come down deep. All right. Here you're gonna see me talk a lot less on this. And go. Boom. Boom. These are genuinely very challenging. I'm already feeling it. Alright. Five seconds, I'm gonna go again. Here we go. And go. Boom. Switch. 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 Ten seconds. Make sure you have good balance. You don't have good balance, slow down a little bit, stop. Oh man, only three sets down. Good. A bunch left. And go. Boom. Make sure your toes are pointing straight forward. Your knees aren't wobbling. I think this is going to be as tough as it gets today. It's going to get easier, okay? So just get through this part, and then it'll be a little easier. Okay, halfway done. Three, two, go. Boom. 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 Don't forget, if you need to just step back and not jump, you can do that too. If that's what you need. If you don't need it, though, don't do it. Three, 
three seconds. I make three sets left. I'll turn this way. There you go. Woo! Shadow the legs. I don't think you're ready for this, Jelly. Three, two, ah. Okay. Two more sets. Shake it out. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Try to get your abs. That's where your balance is coming from. Don't do that. Balance goes right here. One set left. Ooh, spicy down. Spicy legs. Five seconds. I'm not gonna talk. And go. Push it. Push it. Best side yet. I thought I said I wasn't gonna talk. Okay. Ten seconds. Come on, guys. Five seconds. And woo! Oh boy. Okay, let's hit that timer. Timer break. We have another leg exercise coming up. And it's an easy one. Although, following that, it probably won't feel easy. And that's why we put it in that order. We don't even need to use weights on it because it's following that exercise. <sighs> Make sure you're drinking water during a workout. That's important. Make sure you're drinking water during the day, before your workout too. So if you're taking prescription medicine for anything, make sure you read. Some of them make you super hydrated. Super dehydrated, I don't know if that's what I said. Some make you super dehydrated, and that's bad news. So in which case you're gonna have to drink extra water to compensate for that. And you're gonna have to make sure you pay attention to your body while you're working out and you're not feeling like you're gonna suffer from dehydration or feel faint or dizzy or anything like that. Are you guys ready for the next exercise? I am. Okay, let me set my timer. We're gonna do a squat with a side leg raise. I don't have a cool name for this other than squat to side leg raise. So if you guys watch this and have a great name, you guys can uh, post it, make a comment or something. So we're just gonna go down deep and lift your leg back to the side. Flexing your abductor back down deep, out to the side. On this first set, we're just going to do 30, okay? Here we go. I don't need that. We're doing, we're doing 30, but I'm doing it to body style. So, shoulder width apart on the legs. Now, let's go nice and deep and slow. Go. Deep. One. Two. Lift up as high as you can. Three. Four, five, good job, six, seven, nice straight leg, eight, just bring it up, get those abductors, abductors, sorry, not abductors, with the B. Here's 11, third the way there, 12, 13, 14, 15, halfway done, 16, 17, 18, 19, <clears throat> make sure your knees are coming over your toes, your butt's going out that way, just got 10 left. 
Sure, your knees aren't wobbling. Go on nice and deep, weight on your heels. Make sure you're using your glutes. How do you make sure you're using your glutes? Well, for starters, squeeze them when you're coming up. Everyone squeeze them. Go, good. Feels different, huh? Last one. Good, that was 30. We'll time a short little 30 second break. Wipe your face off. All right, take a sip of your water. How you doing, Charlie? Good? Okay, 10 seconds left. And we're gonna do 40 this time, okay? Here we go. In five, four, three, two. Shoulder width apart. Come down nice and deep. Let's go 40. Here's one. Remember to squeeze your butt when you're coming up. Everyone wants toned glutes, right? So let's make sure we're squeezing them. All the movements we do aren't about just doing the movements and getting weight from point A to point B. It's using the right muscles to do that movement. Okay? So there's lots of ways to move the weight from A to B, but we want to use the right muscle groups that we want to work. Okay? So I want to use my quads and hamstrings, but I certainly don't want to leave my glutes out of this movement. So we're going to focus on squeezing them, and then on this leg brace, we want to use those abductors. So I can get my leg up there a whole bunch of ways. Lift it up, swing it up, but I want to focus on using that muscle group. Oh, great. I think this is 16. 17. Helps you to touch yourself on that spot. So you're thinking about it. That's good. Go for it. <clears throat> we only got 15 left. That's nothing. 15 is nothing. All right. We just have one left until. We're on our last 10. Okay, now what's the last 10? 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5 more. 4. 3. Real deep, two, squeeze, last one, deep, squeeze, good. Okay, let's take a 30 second rest, and we'll do one last set. The big set, we'll do 50 on this big set. Why 50? Because it's 10 more than 40. That's why. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. Last set. Let's do it nice and slow and think about what we're using. Go. Squeeze your butt. One. Two. Three. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, only four eight left, eleven, and then we're done with this, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 30 left. 22, switch your butt. 23, don't worry, it's the last leg exercise. 24, 25, 26, 27, I'm gonna move over here so we can see Charlie a little bit. 28, 29, 30. All right, we got 20 more. 31. If you need to cut out a little while and jump in back with us, that's okay. Are you guys still counting? I need a counter over here. Okay. I got to my last digit, so I think that means we have 20 left. I'm not sure. But it's definitely not more than 20. So let's do that. If I count it wrong, we just have 10 left. You guys can stop at 10. I'm going to do 20 just to be on the safe side. Make sure you keep your back upright when you're coming down like that. Don't bow forward like that. Keep your back upright. Okay? Alright, we got 10 more. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, if you're feeling this in your lower back, six. You gotta remember to keep your abs tight while you're doing it. Five. You also gotta remember to do something forward. Four. You also have to remember to stretch your lower back when we're done with our workout. Two. One more good one, super deep. All right. Good job, guys. So now we're going to move on to some ab movements. Guess what? We just have two exercises left. So that's cool. That's cool. And then we just have to stretch and uh, we'll be done. So we got that going for us, which is nice. So take some water. Not too much water. And our next ab exercise we're going to do Tabata style. So that's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, 8 sets total. And we're going to switch between scissor kicks and crunches. We're going to start with the scissor kicks. Okay? That means scissor kicks are going to be laying on your back, putting your hands here. If you want to make it a little bit easier, or if you're feeling it weird in your lower back, you can put your hands underneath your clicus right here. But you're gonna start by lifting your feet about six inches off the ground. And then you're gonna switch like that, okay? That's the scissor kick. And the crunches are gonna be feet flat on the ground, hands on your temples, 
and just roll your shoulders up and just come a little bit off the floor, contracting your abs. You don't need to come up much more than that, just about 45 degrees. You guys ready? Here we go. And three, scissor kicks, and go. Keep your legs straight as you can. Keeping your abs tight. And you're gonna feel this mostly in your lower abs. Okay, feet flat on the ground, hands on your temples, and we're gonna do crunches in three seconds. You ready? And go. One, two. Make sure you're not lacing your fingers and cranking on the back of your neck. Just slightly let your fingertips on your temples, right, right next to your ears. That's it. Just kind of supporting our, our neck. But we're not wrenching our neck. Hands to your side or under your tuchus. Feet off the ground. And let's go. It burns. It burns. Okay, feet on the ground, hands on your temples, and let's get ready in three, two, and go. Three seconds. straight, hands to your side, feet six inches off the ground, and let's go. Kick, kick, kick. If you're feeling straight in your back, put your hands under your tuchus or your glutes, your glutes below your tailbone. Good. All right. We only got three, three sets left. Let's go crunches. Go. And you guys are doing great. If you're this far along in the workout, you're doing great, believe me. All right. Leg lifts in five seconds. Leg straight, hands to your side or under your booty, and let's go. Why isn't it beeping yet? Oh, there we go. All right, we have one more set left. You guys ready? Crunches. Let's do it. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven seconds left. Three seconds left. And done. Woo! All right. We're going to go straight into our next exercise. Can you see how fogged up my glasses are? <laughs> That's what happens. Okay. Let's take a quick, quick little shorty break while I defog my glasses. I need a little windshield wiper. All right. Take a little sip of water. Adjust your shirt. There we go. <sighs> I've noticed on these videos that uh, sometimes my my 
sleeve comes down in it. I always, I'm like, why am I shaking my arm? It's because I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I chest my shirt, but I don't even realize I'm doing it. I'm just think, oh, it feels funny. So it looks like I have a twitch, which I probably have a lot of twitches, but that ain't one of them. Okay, so if you have a dog, give him a treat. This is the point where we give him a little, give him a little treat. And we're going to do something called, technically it's called side plank with a toe touch with a push-up. But I'm just going to call them scorpion push-ups. That's how some of my clients know them. Some people call a different movement a scorpion push-up. I call this a scorpion push-up. You can call it whatever you want. Call it a Daniel push-up. But this is, we're going to call it a scorpion push-up from now on. And that goes like this. We're going to start off in normal push-up position. We're going to do a push-up. Okay? We're going to bring your foot up like this. Put it on the ground. Look straight up to the ceiling. Put your hand to the ceiling. And touch your toe to your hand while you're contracting your abs. And back down. Push-up. Bring your foot up. Put it on the ground. Point to the ceiling, touch your toe to your hand, okay? If you're having trouble with the push-up, you can drop to your knee, but then when you get back up here, just get off your knees and try it without, without the knees, okay? We're gonna do, um, should we do eight or 10? Let's do 10. I was gonna say eight, but. Let's do 10, okay? And if the next time you can't do 10, then just do as many as you can, okay? All right, I'm sure some people out there could do more than 10, and uh, some people will have trouble doing a few less than 10, so just do your best, okay? And uh, if you need to stop for a second, then just join back in with us. Okay, let's get, let's get going. They're a, little, they're a little bit complicated, but just stick with it, and over time they'll get better, okay? So let's go push up. Good, back up. Stick your foot up in the air. Bring your foot to the ground. Look to the ceiling. Chest point in the ceiling. Touch your hand to your toe. That was one. Push up. Two. There you go. There's three. Four. Five, put your foot on the ground, look to the ceiling, good, six, seven, eight, Nine. And ten. Good job. Okay. We're going to take off just a little bit of time to catch our breath. And we'll do it all over again. How are you doing, Charlie? He knows there's another treat on that counter. I think that's what's going on. What are you doing, buddy? Huh? Okay, how long of a break do we need? That was 20 seconds already. How about we do another 20 seconds from this point? Okay, got handsome. Okay, 10 seconds left. You ready? Let's go! Push up. Foot up. And touch. Good. Push up. Foot up. That's two. Three. 
four. Five. All right, halfway there. Six. Seven. Last one, here we go. All right, okay, another short break. We'll do our last set of the day. Our last set of our last exercise. All right. I'm gonna get a sip of water. Well, buddy, you did a good job today. And you already had dinner, so. And he knows it's up there. He knows it's there. I put an extra one there in case he was getting in my way. I'll use it if I need it. But he's been good, and he knows it's up there, so. Come over here, bud. All right, good job. And here's our last set. Our break's over. And then we're just gonna stretch and we'll be done, okay? Let's go. Push up. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Halfway there, six, seven, contract your abs, eight, nine, last one of the day, here we go. That's it. Good job. All right. Thanks for coming, working out with me and Charlie. Charlie said you did a good job. I say you did a good job. I couldn't have done it without you guys. So make sure you stretch and, and have a great night or day, depending on whatever time you're watching this.